Hey guys, this is Kieran, and uh, today we're going to be talking about some progressions around how to control your ribs and your pelvis. And that just means can we get them coordinating together? And sometimes that's going to be about getting them doing opposite things, sometimes that's about getting them doing uh, the same thing at the same time. And these are the skills sometimes that you need to relearn after you've had an injury to this area. So it could be like a rib injury, a pelvic injury, a hip injury, a lower back injury, an abdominal injury. Might have repeated myself there, but get the idea. Anything in this area, even after a surgery in the abdomen, you might find that these skills are something you need to get back. So if that sounds like you, give this a go. We discussed in our other video about basically trying to, you know, get that S shape back to the spine. And so if you look at someone from the side and there's a bit of a, a curve here going this way, and then the curve in the upper back going the opposite way, and then the neck curve matching this curve down here. Now it's not that you have to live there all the time, but being able to get there is, is useful. And it's not that, you know, you have to, everyone has the same exact shape. But in our other video, we talked about when you lay on the ground, you can get this feedback about, okay, ribs down and there's a space under the lower back. So we're gonna be building on that skill a bit today. And if you feel like, okay, today's a bit too complex, go back to the other video, which will be, it's called part one, and you can learn those skills and then come back to this video. So in the last video, we talked about creating basically an anchor at both ends. I'm gonna bring the, pel the hips, uh, sorry, the uh, ribs down, so I'm gonna anchor there. And then I'm also going to put my hips into a bit of an anterior tilt, which is gonna anchor them there. Now, I wanna create an anchor at one end and movement at the other end. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna walk through those cues again where I'm pushing my ribs down so I can't get my hand under here, okay? cannot get it under here, but I can get it under my lower back. And so if already, if that's like too tricky for you, go back to our other video, okay? So the new skills are that the anchor here at the ribs, so ribs are down. If that feels foreign, a little exhale, check the other video. I'm just repeating that because information's in the other video. Ribs down, and then what I wanna do is try to rock my pelvis now. And so what I'm doing is this space in the lower back under here, I'm closing it down and then I'm lifting it up. Closing it down, I'm lifting it up. All the while though, this anchor at the rib isn't changing. So I'm keeping that space closed down under here in this area while my pelvis is going through this rocking movement. Okay? And so it's a really useful skill to have. And it's something that you're gonna do maybe in some more harder positions, like on hands and knees, quadruped. The opposite then would be locking down the pelvis and moving the ribs. So if I lock down the pelvis, I create that little arch in there, and then I'm gonna lift my ribs up to the sky and ribs down, ribs up to the sky. So now there's space under here, and then I close down, okay? So a lot of movement is that. It's kind of learning how to create an anchor at one end of a muscle while the other end moves. And it's not that that anchor end is always static and unmoving, but there'll be, it'll be in a, maybe a shorter position or maybe longer, but it's maintaining a certain amount of tension, an appropriate amount of tension. And that tension is something we learn through the repetitive sort of um, failure of movement as we sort of learn as kids what works and what doesn't. And then after injury, we need to kind of relearn some of that and so through the failure of a movement, we get this feedback loop happening. And through that, we start to learn. We're like, oh, well maybe my coordinates are a bit over here and then maybe over here. And there's kind of a degree of like, okay, this really, really helps. And then the helpfulness can start to plateau a little bit. And beyond that, it's kind of special interest. But for a lot of people after injuries, they might tackle the strength. They might tackle some of the endurance. And then they might bring in some coordination stuff, but it's kind of about bringing all of them together eventually and integrating them. And we don't see this a lot outside of return to sport rehab. That's a lot more robust. There's a lot more investment in research there. And we see a lot more 
I guess, understanding about all the variables that need rehabbing to get that individual back to playing the sport they want to do. But sometimes when it's just back to general daily tasks, being out of pain isn't quite enough. And so when you have these repeated sort of injuries or repeated bouts of pain, it just might be that some of this sort of coordination stuff isn't quite there yet. And then taking that coordination skill and integrating it into harder movements with your strength, flexibility, and endurance. And so those are topics we go over in other videos. But at a minimum, this is a, a skill that you start to develop. And once you've got that skill, then we need to go again, another step up a little bit harder. So that'll be more of like a part three video, okay? If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.